Let's take a look at that FTDM 400 DR. Well, here is the main body of the FTM 400 DR. The speaker is on top. Control head connection is here. Microphone connection here. Data. Storage card here. Let's flip it around the back. Here's your fan to keep things cool. Antenna connection. Data jack. That data jack's for an external TNC. This is set up for APRS with an internal modem, a TNC, and, uh, but if you want to do other packet, you'll have to use an external TNC. Here is also the, the uh, speaker jack, which is stereo. So this does come with, a, uh, with an adapter for a mono jack. Let's take a look underneath, and we have the cooling fins. Keeps things cool. Put that down, and let's see what else you get. Also, here's the control head. More on this later. It also comes with an MH48 microphone, that's very familiar. Mm -hmm. A uh, mobile mounting bracket. And this uh, little bracket for the control head is stuck to your dashboard with some of this sticky tape. Here's your data connection, your cable for your PC for updating the firmware and programming the radio. We have some spare fuses and even a microphone clip. Well, here it is. It's on. And as you can see, it's a full dual bander. And it has a touch screen to change bands. There I'm on 2 meters and back to 70 centimeters. To change modes, I press this button over here on the left. There we go. Digital, uh, full voice, uh, high quality digital. Uh, FM and back to digital again. Now let's try the display mode. Hit that once. And look, there's the point of the compass that I'm heading, their GPS information. Altitude, all that is displayed here. Check that out. Unfortunately, I'm inside of a big building here. Can't get any of the GPS satellites, but let's imagine anyway. And here's your stop clock uh, and the date and all that good stuff. That's where the GPS information is, and you can see where other stations using APRS are located and how far away they are. Quite good. Adjusting the squelch is simple. Press the button, turn this up and down like that. Yes, indeed. These are, of course, the dials that adjust the frequency. These are the volume knobs. Very few controls overall. Yes, and now uh, I'll put it over in the digital mode, and let's see how it sounds. Testing. Testing. One, One, two, two three. three. Yes, it does indeed work. 